Hi, I'm Tanya Sulikowski. I'm an environmental educator from Montclair State University, and this is my friend Bella. This is our third episode in our Signs of Spring series called Turtles on the Move. There are 13 species of turtles that make their home in New Jersey, in coastal areas and forests and ponds and streams, and sometimes you might even find them on the roadways. So today, we're gonna to talk about how turtles are waking up from their winter slumber, why they're moving around, and some things you can do to help. This is Muhammad Ali. He's my coworker at the New Jersey School of Conservation. And we have him because someone helped him across the road and brought him home to keep him as a pet. And then they got tired of him and they were just gonna let him go in their backyard. But that's not a good idea because Eastern box turtles have a pretty small home range. They live in an area that's about the size of two football fields. And so if they were to let him go, he probably would have died trying to get back to the place that he knew to be home. So if you find a box turtle, help him across the road, appreciate him, and leave him alone. Come on, Bella, let's go look for turtles. Ooh, that was a close one. So what do you do if you find a turtle that's trying to get across the road? Well, you might be tempted to pick him up and put him on this side because that's closest. But if you really want to help this guy out, you're going to move him in the direction that he's traveling. There's something on this side of the road that he's interested in getting to. Maybe it's a turtle he wants to mate with. Maybe it's the best turtle strawberry patch, or maybe it's a watering hole that he needs to get to. So you always want to put him in the direction that he's traveling. If you put him on that side of the road, as soon as you drive away, he's going to come right back out into the street all over. This is Picta, the eastern painted turtle that we use for education at the New Jersey School of Conservation. Picta helps us teach people how it's illegal to take turtles out of wild places in New Jersey, and also how it's wrong to introduce non-native species. The red-eared slider is a common turtle that's used in the pet trade, and when people get tired of them, they often just let them go. And that turtle has become a real problem, an invasive species, in fact, because it displaces eastern painted turtles from their natural habitat. Here at Ghost Lake, this is ideal habitat for eastern painted turtles. They like big bodies of water like lakes, but if the habitat's not ideal, they can move several miles to get to a spot that's great for them. They'll be looking for mates and great bodies of water and really important food sources. Even tiny turtles are on the move. Common snapping turtles are also frequently encountered crossing New Jersey's roadways. We have this particularly docile specimen today that we are going to use to help demonstrate how to safely move them across the road. They can be pretty bitey and dangerous, so you want to make sure when you're handling them you're exercising caution. Now, the top part of their shell is called a carapace, and the carapace has a lip on the back right above the tail. And if you lift up the turtle, you can hold on by that lip and pick it up and carefully move it across the street. If it's too heavy, you can actually use kind of a wheelbarrow technique to help get it from one side of the street to the other. And you always want to put it in the direction that it's headed. A snapping turtle this size might weigh up to 25 pounds, which might be really difficult to move. So there's another technique you can use to help get it across the road. So you would grab it by that lip on the back of the carapace and drag it onto a car mat or a towel maybe that you have in your car. And then you can just drag the mat across the road. And then when you get to this side, again, just make sure you're turning him in the direction that he's going. This is not a proper technique for handling snapping turtles. They've got vertebrae that go from the tip of their tail all the way to their skull. And if you pick a turtle up by its tail, you can do some serious damage to that turtle's spine. Turtles are on the move. 
They've been on the planet for 120 million years, and in recent times their numbers have been declining due to human habitat alteration and pollution and overcollection. And so let's do our part. Let's preserve their habitat and help them out whenever we can.